Hello everyone. Welcome back to our program, Women and the Bible. We will continue discussing women from the Bible, what we can learn from them, what did they do wrong and what did they do right. I just would like to start with a short prayer. Let God bless us, let He open every heart and He talks to us and He changes our lives and blesses us and you, everyone that is listening this now, let Him bless you and talk to you and open His, His revelations to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. So we will start now with Ruth and uh, also we will go parallel with Naomi because they are related to each other and uh, they are going beside each other. We can't separate them. So we will start with Ruth chapter 1 verse 1. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in a country of Moab. The man's name was Elimelech, his wife's name was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Mehlan and Kilion. They were Ephratites from Bethlehem, Judah, and they went to Moab and lived there. He says they, it was a famine in the land and they, they themselves, they decided to go and now Naomi was inside. If there is a famine in your country, in your land, in your family, don't leave it unless you ask God. Maybe your husband will want to go, your family will agree to go. Help them to seek God, to seek His word. Help your husband, your family to stay in the God's will because His will is perfect. You can't really add on it to make it better or deduct from it to make it better. So here they went to Moab and Moab was ungodly country. Don't leave your godly things and go to ungodly things just because you are in a trouble, in a stress or in a famine and there's no money maybe, you are hungry, there's no job, there is so much stress and burden. Don't leave godly stuff and go to ungodly stuff because you will lose whatever you have. So we will see now. Now Elimelech, now his husband died and she was left with her two sons. They married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. After they had lived there about 10 years, both Mehlan and Kilion also died. And Naomi was left without her two sons and her husband. We see here she lost whatever she had. If you leave godly things to go to ungodly places or things or deeds or behavior just because you are in a trouble, you will lose more. Whatever she had, she had the husband. At least she had the family. She lost it. Be careful be before you make any decision. Please ask God before you make any decision whether to move or to change your job even, to change anything in your life. In Jesus' name. So she lost her husband, she lost her two sons, but at least she had two daughters-in-law. And uh, let's look what they are doing. Naomi and Ruth returned to Bethlehem. When Naomi heard in Moab that the Lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them, she and her daughters-in-law prepared to return home from there. With her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back to the land of Judah. At least when she heard that they are, going, they are doing good in Judah, she left her ungodly country and she decided to go. Even if you made a mistake, you did something wrong and you lost some of your uh, treasures, some of your uh, family members maybe, some of your maybe finances or wealth, go back. Go back to Jesus, go back to godly things, go back to Christ. And she did the right thing in this case, that she went back because she lost. She saw that she's dying, so she decided to return to God, so she gets blessing. Verse 8, Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show you kindness as you have shown kindness to your dead husbands and to me. May the Lord grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them goodbye and they wept loud. And they said to her, 
we will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? And then, later on, she is saying, don't come with me. She urged them to stay because she wanted them to be blessed. But she didn't know that God has another purpose, another plan. Before you even talk to anyone, make a decision to urge someone to do something, see what God wants you to do. She wanted them to be blessed, but the blessing it was in the Israel, in Judah. Blessing is with God. Never ask, don't tell people, don't come to church, don't come to Jesus, you will, uh, it is hard. Don't tell them, it is, it is a blessing. And later she's saying, I will not be able to give you more sons, so you marry. Because it was a rule, it was a custom in Judah that whoever dies, his wife can be married to dead persons. But in this case, he didn't have more brothers. They were only two, two, two brothers, both of them, they died. So at verse 14, at this they wept aloud again. Then Orpha kissed her mother-in-law goodbye and Ruth clung to her. Luke said, Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. Do you see how Ruth understood that her blessing is to stay with her mother-in-law? It's not the, the easiest decision, but she saw that God is with her. She saw that God will work with her. God put this in her mind. She was a Moabite. In, in Judah, they would uh, start persecuting her. They wouldn't accept her because she was a Moabite. They would come and say, how come you came to us? You are a foreigner. You don't know customs. But she said no to her mother-in-law. Where you go, I go. Because your God, I want to be my God. Find people that have God in their hearts and follow them. Don't be afraid. She wasn't afraid. Don't be afraid to follow Jesus, to follow God and people who follow God. And she agreed to come because she felt inside, God put in her heart that they are family. She has to go to Judah because God had a plan. When God has a plan, he makes it successful. If you feel you are in God's plan, don't be afraid. If God tells you, leave your country, like in this case, God didn't come directly to her and told her, but she felt that God is what God leads her to do. So she left her country, she left her comfort. Don't be afraid from that. She left all the, her customs, her family. She left her mother-in-law and she didn't leave her mother-in-law. She left, sorry, her mother and father and followed her mother-in-law. At that time, they didn't have Skype. They didn't have internet. They didn't have anything that we have now. At least now we can see each other by at least Skype or Viber. We talk and we see how they are doing. In that time, there's even almost no mail. By the time you send the mail, it might not go because they were enemies, Moabites and the Israelites. But she left that all just to seek God. For gaining God, for gain, pleasing God, you need to leave everything. In your heart, you need to leave your, in your mind your everything, your customs, your old life. Your old life you need to leave in order to go further and to be more blessed. So they went to Bethlehem. And people they saw, they were pointing on uh, Ruth. They were pointing and saying, no, she is foreigner. They didn't accept her properly. But later on, in the, we will continue later in our next episode, we will see what happened to Ruth. What purpose God, did God have for her? Did God pro keep his promise for her? Did God bless her? Or she stayed widow and weeping and uh, crying and childless. God bless you and see you in the next episode.